ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your fairy friends. Stinky and Shake! Now it's the Animal Show! Check, check, check. Oh, puppies! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And today our Hi, guests stinky, are... Hi, Stinky, Winky. Hi, Cousin Jakey. Oh. 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 B- Bunny? Oh. Oh. What's, what's wrong? Oh, golly gosh, I wish I had some friends. But, well, but, but, but Jake and I are your friends? Well, yeah. I know, but, but you guys are... Guys, yeah. I want friends who are girls and young and covered with fur. Oh. But there's no one around here like that. Oh, see ya. But, oh, but, but we got to help her. Where are we going to find furry young girl animals to be Bunny's friends? Well, we'll, we'll think of something, Stinky. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, yes, our yes, guests yes. today are two furry young girl animals, the giant otter uh, and, and the, the mink. mink. Yes, mm-hmm. that's great, but now we got to think. Where do we find furry young girl animals who could be Bunny's friends? Yeah, yeah, Give think, it a think. think. And now it's time for... That's amazing. What? Hey, hey, cheer up there, kiddo. I may be an old bird covered with feathers, but I'll, I'll always be a friend. Oh, I'm sorry, that's very kind, but you're not a furry young girl animal. I could try. No, no, not in front of the fledglings. Oh, right, right, yeah, uh-huh, okay. Uh, anyway, so uh, what's on today's agenda? <laughs> Today we find out how long a giant otter can dive beneath the water. Mm, on purpose or with sandbags attached to his feet? Oh, Armstrong, on purpose. Giant otters can dive beneath the water and stay there for six to eight minutes without having to come up for air. Ooh, I couldn't even do that with sandbags attached to my feet. The wonderful underwater dives of the giant otter. Another animal that'll make me hold my breath and will make you say... (gasps) That's amazing! I got it! Oh, you you thought of a furry young girl animal who could be Bunny's friend? No, I had a boysenberry seed stuck in my back tooth and I finally got it out. Well, boysenberries aside, it's time to meet our first guest from the rivers and creeks of South America. America? Please welcome Sandy the Giant Otter. Oh, this is so neat! Oh, I hope everyone's watching back home. Hi, I'm Sandy. This is so neat. Uh, neat. <laughs> neat. Neat. Yeah, neat. <laughs> uh, well, listen, Sandy, maybe you could tell us some uh, neat things about your species, the giant otter. Oh, sure. That would be neat. Neat. Yeah, neat, neat. <laughs> right. This is where we live in the waterways of South America. There are forests and swamps and lots of fish in the water. It's the best. Oh, oh now, who are they? Those are my cousins, Nathan and Natalie. They love to sleep. My kind of otters. As you can see, everything about us is made for swimming. From the streamlined shape of our head to our big whip feet that work like oars when we move through the water. Our nose has flaps that close up underwater, and we've even got tiny ears, so there's nothing to hold us back when we're swimming. How come you're called giant otters? You don't look so giant to me. Oh, but we are when you compare us to other kinds of otters. We can grow as big as eight feet long. That's twice the size of our closest relative. Well, looks like Nathan and Natalie are finally waking up. Oh, it must be time to eat. So these two are headed to the water. That's where we giant otters are at our best. Ooh, I bet that feels nice and cool. Oh, it sure does. And while we do it right on the land, when we're in water, it's really, really... Neat. How did you know? Wild guess. Now, how much time do you spend in the water? Let me show you. Like most otters, we spend as much time as we can in the water. Hmm, now your long, smooth shape really makes it easy for you to glide along. Yeah. Right, but it's our webbed feet that help us push and steer. Well, it's almost like having four flippers. Make that fun. See, giant otters also have a big fat tail that's like a fifth flipper. Oh. That's the one we use when we really want to travel fast. Well, you may not be the most graceful animals on land, but in the water, it's like you're dancing a ballet. Ballet! Here we are back on the surface. There's Nathan. And wait a moment. I know she's there somewhere. There's Natalie. Giant otters love to live in pairs. Looks like Natalie almost caught a fish. Yeah. <laughs> We're very good hunters. 
Even in the muddiest water, a whiskers can sense if there's a fish, a eel, or crab nearby. Now, will Natalie share her catch with Nathan? Oh, never. Once the giant otter catches a fish, it's hers. And Nathan is just gonna have to catch his own. And he better get started. Giant otters eat up to 22 pounds of fish every day. <laughs> wow. Now, Sandy, I've heard that giant otters are an endangered species. Is that because you can't find enough food? Oh, there are plenty of fish in the rivers where we live. Our problems are bigger than that. You see, Jake, even though it's illegal to hunt us, some humans still do. And now there are only about 1,000 giant otters in the entire world. Well, now, do hunters go after you in the water? We're much safer there. We can swim away very quickly. But when we're on the land, we're awkward and can't move all that fast. But why do people hunt you? Don't they like you? They want our fur. You see, Stinky, we giant otters have beautiful, thick, waterproof fur. It keeps us warm and dry, and I guess that's why humans value it so much. Well, they should just leave it where it belongs, right on the giant otter. I couldn't agree more. Well, Sandy, thank you for telling us all about giant otters. Thanks, Jake. It was neat. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm funny. You're neat. Oh, hi. I'm Sandy, and you're neat, too. <laughs> oh, want to be my best friend? Sure. Want to be my best friend? Sure. Neat. Let's go. Come oh. on. <laughs> oh, this is such fun. Oh, you know something, Jake? I think Sandy would make a good furry young girl animal friend for Bunny. You know, I think you're right, and I also think it's time for... <gasps> Baby talk. Come on, you try it. I don't wanna. It's too hard. I know, but you heard what Mama said. If we want to be good swimmers, we've got to do our neck exercises like, like, like this. Okay, now you know, watch me, right? Okay, first, first you gotta stretch, uh, uh, stretch, uh, 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 stretch to the left a little. Okay, then stretch, uh, stretch, uh, stretch, uh, uh, stretch. Oh, oh, this is too hard. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna try. Ugh. Oh no, I'm not. Oh yes, I am. All right, uh, it goes reach. Oh, forget Ugh. it. Yeah. Oh. Children, oh children, the water's lovely. Now, have you done your neck exercises like I told you to? Are you ready for your swim? Uh, uh sure, ma. We're ready. Yeah, here we come. Oh. I wonder how Bunny and Sandy are getting along. Do you like music? I love music. <laughs> Want to hear a neat song about fur? <laughs> oh, <neat. laughs> I think they like each other. And I think they just introduced the next song. <laughs> Like all otters, is an excellent swimmer and diver. 
Common otters are commonly found either in the water or no more than 100 meters from the water. The common otter is also called the Old World Otter. It's found in Europe and the British Isles, North Africa, Northern Asia, and in parts of India. Common otters eat fish, frogs, crayfish, crabs, and other invertebrates which live in the water. They will also eat small birds, fledglings, and small mammals. <laughs> it looks like this common otter is eating an eel, its favorite food. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on the common otter. Over to you, Stinky and Jake. And now it's Just time to bring up... Oh, Jakey, Cousin Jakey! Oh, oh, yeah. Sandy and I were wondering, could we invite another fur young girl animal friend to our sleepover? Well, of course you can! Oh, thank you, 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 you. Do you know another fur young girl animal? Oh, uh, well, no, I'm sorry we don't, but, but, but we'll let you know if we meet any. Okay, <laughs> thanks, bye, goodbye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Oh, oh. <laughs> and now let's bring out our next guest, a furry young girl animal from Europe and America. America! Welcome, Melody the Mink! Like, wow, I'm so just to be here. Oh, let me pinch myself to see if this is real. Oh, pinch. It's real, all right. <laughs> Hi, Melody. Oh, me with Stinky and Jake. Oh, this is such a dream come true. Well, we're glad you're here, Melody. We want you to tell us all there is to know about Mink. Well, then, like, let's get started, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Now, here's where some of us live. Well, where is that? Well, it's the UK. That stands for the United Kingdom. And what kind of mink is that? That's an American mink. Wait a minute, I'm confused. If that's an American mink, what's he doing in Britain? He's on holiday, Jake. He probably went over there to visit relatives. Yeah. Actually, American mink have lived in Britain for a long time. You see, they were brought over to breed on farms, and some of them escaped into the wild, Ooh. and they've lived there happily ever since. Well, that mink certainly seems to be having a good time. Oh, that is our favorite place, down by the water. In the wild, we mink live by streams and rivers, where there's lots of vegetation and lots of fish. That sounds just like where otters live. That's totally true. In fact, mink and otter are sometimes mistaken for each other, and we do look a whole lot alike, except mink don't have webbed paws like otters. Well, now, what's that mink doing? He's licking moisture off that tree to get a drink. Careful of splinters, fella. Oh, he doesn't eat the wood, but he does eat eggs, frogs, fledgling birds, and most of all, fish. Well, well tell us, Melody, what's it like growing up as a mink? Well, it's like meat. First of all, you are born in this totally cool nest right at the edge of the water. Oh, oh look at the little look. minky babies. Oh. These babies are very young. You can tell because they have hardly any fur, and they can hardly see at all. Does mom bring them food? For the first few weeks, they'll nurse and stay close to her for warmth. She'll only leave the burrow to get a little food for herself. These are the same mink at about six weeks old. Their fur has really come in, but Mom still has to bring them food. Uh, now, are they too young to hunt for themselves? But that's right, Jake. When mink are this young, we pretty much just play all the time. But as these mink get bigger, Mom will teach them all they need to know to hunt for themselves. There must be a lot for you to learn. Oh, there sure is. Mom even has to teach us how to swim. You mean mink aren't natural swimmers? No. We have to start out in the shallow water and work our way deeper as we go along. That's just like our show. We start out shallow and keep working ourselves into deep water. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, but, but, but enough about us. Mm, uh, I want to know about your swimming. Oh, swimming is like the best. First of all, our fur is almost totally waterproof, so we stay warm and comfy under the water. Just like the giant otter. That's right. And just like the otter, we mink are built slim and streamlined, so we just glide through the water. Mink are great swimmers, but how are you at catching fish? Watch for yourself, Jake. Oh, there goes a fish. We can't see very well underwater, so we have to follow the fish as best we can, then jump at it as it sweeps past. Go get him! You can catch that fishy! Come here, fishy, 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 fishy! And here's the really hard part, holding onto your catch when everybody wants a piece. Even though only one mink did the work, she's going to have to share her catch with other mink. Well, thank you, Melody, for showing us what life is like for me. Oh, that was so it neat! Was that was so neat! Oh, yeah, We're having a sleepover. Do you want to come yeah. along? That'd be neat. Oh, yeah, great! <laughs> but, but before you do that, could you three sing a song? Oh, oh certainly. That would be neat, too, wouldn't it? Come on. 
<laughs> and now, Bunny, Sandy, and Melody with Sing a Little Breezy Number. When Bunny's feeling blue, missing her buddies too, they get together like birds of a feather, and this is what they do. They sing a little breezy number in three-part harmony. The mink, the bear, the otter, as happy as can be. They sing a little breezy number. It cheers them up no end. And anyone who's listening, it drives them round the bend. When funny Neat! <laughs> and now here's something that's even neater than neat. Oh, you must mean me. No, I mean this. And now it's... Yo-ho! Eat the bunny! Oh, sorry, Armstrong! I was thinking about our sleepover! Yeah, very, very Okay, but right now it's time for... Oh, animal awards! Today we'll find out which of these animals is the best tool user. Is it... The chimpanzee? The Egyptian vulture? Or the sea otter. And the winner is... The chimpanzee. While each of these animals uses stones to crack open their food, chimpanzees actually make an anvil and hammer out of two rocks so they can crack open nuts and other tasty treats. The tool-using chimpanzee. An animal who borrowed my socket wrench and never returned it. And winner of today's animal award. Mm. You know, Jake, now that Bunny has her own friends and she's thinking about her sleepover all the time, yeah. I miss her. Oh, well, would you feel better if I read you a story? Yeah, yeah. who wouldn't? <laughs> all right, you two, let, let's do it. <clears throat> Here goes. <clears throat> Once upon a time in the Amazon River, there lived a giant otter called Otley. Now, Otley loved to swim and hunt in the Amazon. And so did the Piranha Boys. The Piranha Boys like to hang out in the river showing off their red bellies and just waiting to attack dead or dying animals. They were so cool and very scary. One day, Otley found them hanging out in her very favorite part of the river. Go away, she cried. Who's gonna make us, said Pug Piranha. I am, said Otley. She wasn't scared of piranhas. And the next thing Pug knew, he was Otley's morning snack. From that day on, the Piranha Boys never hung around in Otley's territory again. And they all lived happily ever after. Except, of course, for Pug. Yeah, yeah. The end. Yeah. That was a swell story. Yeah, yeah, really great there. Hey, Armstrong. Huh? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? You, you mean lonely? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I mean, Bunny has a new friend and, and they're having a sleepover. Oh. And, and oh, hey! I got an idea. Like this is good. The three of us could have a sleepover. We could make popcorn and play games and, and sleep. sleep. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. Stinky. And we can do it right after Armstrong is done. And, and done with what? Habitat time. Oh, for the oh, love of Mike, oh I'm my late goodness. again. Oh. What can we do with you guys? Hey, buddy. Oh, sorry, I'm late there. Late like uh, for what, Armstrongy uh, Wongy? Uh, habitat time. <laughs> You hate Habitat Time. You don't have to you go don't. today. I don't? <laughs> no, no, Sandy and Melody are coming yeah, with me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, uh, gee, uh, where are you guys going? Uh? We're going yeah, to the Amazon. The, the, the Amazon? Amazon. 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 You, you can't go there alone. I better come with you to protect you. Look at all this cool water. It's like amazing. No, no, no. It's amazing. Get it? Amazon. <laughs> amazing. <Yeah. laughs> 
Yeah, well, well, now, now, whatever you do, don't fall in. There are dangerous animals in this river here. What? Like this cute little manatee? Oh. Like the giant otter and the jaguar, manatees have come back from the brink of extinction. And did you know that they eat up to 8% of their own body weight each day? Isn't that amazing? No, no, no! It's amazing! Amazing! Oh, so <laughs> oh and that's a terrapin. Look at him go. That's what baby terrapins do when they hatch. They run for the nearest water. Beats getting eaten any day. Uh, okay, girls. Now, 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 watch out. We're in the swamp now. Ah! Oh, oh. What's that? Relax, Armstrong. It's just a sloth with a baby on its back. Well, well, now that heron won't hurt you. <laughs> no, he will. Oh, uh, but that jaguar might. Quick, let me hide behind you. Uh, uh, I mean, you hide behind me. Did you know the jaguar has the most powerful <laughs> bite of all big cats? And unlike most other cats, it loves the water and stays near the river. Yeah, yeah, that, that's amazing. Don't you mean amazing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, well. hey, hey, no problem, girls, no problem at all. So, uh, uh, what, what are we going to do now, then? Oh, well, we're going to have our sleepover! Yay! 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 Well, uh, okay, then, uh, for Habitat Time, it's Armstrong the left on his own chicken hawk, just back from the Amazon. Over to you, Rhonda. Once again, I'm Rhonda Rat, rodent reporter, giving you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if... This animal knows the answer. Sir. Yes? Which of the following animals is an aquatic rodent? A rodent which lives near the water. Well, let's see here. We pelicans live by the water, so I ought to know the answer. Is it the stone fly, the water vole, the marsh frog, or the sea otter? Your answer? Well, if you ask me, they all are. We pelicans never get any rest. There's always a mink, an otter, or some other pet making noise. I can't take it anymore. I can't take Neither it. Neither can I. I just can't Try take it. Door! Now here's the correct answer. The aquatic rodent is the water vole. The stonefly is an insect, the frog is an amphibian, and the otter is a carnivore. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on water voles. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. Thanks, Rhonda. Yo. Uh, well, that's all the time we have for today, and I want to thank our special guests, Bunny's new best friends, Sandy the Giant Otter and Melody Thumbnink. Have a great sleep over you three. Hey, yeah. Uh, huh? uh, can we cut the stale chatter and start the sleeping part of our sleepover? Oh, definitely, huh? definitely. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, one more thing. Uh, remember, until next time, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. All right, all right. Ready? Let's sleep. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Ooh.